Hi everyone, this is Amit and you are watching Robotics India and today we are going to assemble a 2D wheel robot car and I found it online and if you are interested in buying that then go to the description there will be a link you can purchase from that. Let's start it. Okay, let's open it. So as you can see, uh, so if, as you can see that uh, there are a few things inside that two wheel, uh, one uh, chassis and some uh, electronics component like DC motors, battery holders. Okay, let's remove this. I fail. Okay, I like this removing that okay so it's acrylic uh, uh, chassis okay after removing let's uh, connect the motors to the chassis i'm connecting it so let's screw it let's screw the screw in the motor and i'm screwing it okay so i have done with the both motors let's see this is assembly uh, um, uh, guidance are given in the package okay let's connect this uh, uh, gear after connecting this okay i'm trying to fit it oh it's not easy to find the hole here yeah. okay so i fix that okay good so after that uh, let's uh, uh, connect the wheel to the motors okay fine I have connected the wheel, uh, one wheel. I am now going to connect the second wheel here. Okay, so I have connected the second wheel also. Okay, let's uh, check it stability. Okay, it's fine and strong. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect this uh, uh, small wheel. Uh, okay so there are four uh, uh, screw we have to connect let's see that is it uh, equal in heights okay so uh, before connecting the screw okay i'm checking that how much uh, height of this okay it's not uh, the equal size of the uh, back wheel so let's uh, 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 extend the height of that by having this uh, screw uh, adapter so i'm using that let's uh, screw it okay again we're going to screw it okay okay so i'm using here uh, a 3 mm screw and um, okay so i'm screwing it good so one done let's do it with another one and uh, okay wow it's slippery <laughs> okay let's uh, again try screwing it okay fine it's done okay so let's try another one and we'll do for the this third one the same way as we have done the sec, uh, first and second okay and the last one is the fourth one and uh, i love it screwing <laughs> okay so maybe you also try it and you you also going to enjoy it let it do that and uh, meanwhile don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and uh, get uh, tuned for latest updates okay so let's come back to the screwing thing okay i'm screwing again okay fine i have done the this uh extending the height of my this uh, this wheel It's called crystal wheel. Okay, uh, I have connected this uh, with again screwing it. Okay, I'm uh, tidying it. Let it be. Uh, it's going to take few seconds. Wait for it. So I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. The four uh, screws are here 
the screws are available in the package itself so you no need to get it from outside it will be in the package so after screwing okay the fourth one fourth and final one i'm screwing it let's screw it okay almost done okay fine and you can see my uh, this assembly chassis is, is ready okay so they have given some uh, more component in the package and uh, we try to assemble the those thing also so as you can see uh, they have given a battery connector uh, in the package so let's uh, uh, try to fix the battery connector with the chassis and uh, i'm trying it to fix uh, fix with the screw let's uh, snap the screw inside the battery connector okay fine it's i love the sound of snap okay so i'm snapping the screw inside the uh, battery connector now okay let's uh, connect with the chassis and here uh, on the back side of the chassis and let's uh, roll the screw bolt on the top of the screw okay so i'm rolling it okay good uh, let's do it again uh, good done it now uh, i'll let it use the screwdriver to tighten it so it will not uh, come out uh, later when i'm doing the uh, changing the position or uh, connecting the battery so it will not get loose so let it screw it little tight okay done now it's finally connected okay so they have given a uh, this switch small switch but i see that it's a little loose okay so i'm going to apply a little trick uh, to make this uh, uh, this uh, switch to get tight and fit, uh, tight fit in that uh, okay so I'm uh, trying to make it a uh, little uh, sides uh, to I just use the screwdriver to uh, pull it up uh, the sides clips are there so I now you can see it's uh, tight and it's uh, properly fit because I a little extruded the sides okay now uh, it's uh, almost uh, got fit okay let's uh, do one more thing so uh, the we can uh, do the soldering of the motors uh, we are having they have given four uh, wire for motors and uh, let's do the soldering for it okay so i'm using a flux and it's not a uh, uh, to costly flux uh, i got it in chennai market and uh, it's uh, not uh, uh, you know the so costly and advanced one okay so let it be uh, just we need to solder it so uh, later we'll uh, see that uh, the flux and the soldering wires expensive soldering wires and soldering flux okay so uh, i'm just uh, cleaning the soldering uh, this wires because it's uh, maybe it's uh, corroded or something so it will be not able to uh, solder properly so i'm just removing it with the new uh, soldering wires okay so just i'm applying this flux to clean my wire while soldering okay and it will give me a uh, uh, more strong connection bonding with the uh, other metal so it's fine for me to give little time to uh, better soldering okay because if uh, you are not soldering properly the every time the wire will coming out and you are wasting your time so give more times uh, to solder wires okay because a good connection is you know will mm, last longer <laughs> okay so i'm doing that here okay so i have connected the uh, uh, now I'm going to uh, apply little more flux and uh, applying on the motor uh, terminals. Okay, so let's uh, uh, okay. 
mm, almost i have done okay now let's connect the wire to that uh, motor spin okay so i'm just inserting the wire in, in the motor spin hole and uh, now i just bend it and let's uh, use the little flux uh, and soldering wire to apply on it okay you can see it's getting connected and and i'm just taking checking the strength of this uh, soldering okay and uh, i think it's a fine solder okay let uh, connect the another side of the wire with the solder and uh, uh, okay so uh, do it for the same uh, for another side okay i'm just turning it and uh, let's uh, use the black wire for that okay so i'll do the same things for other side also uh, i will apply little flux and soldering wire and i will just use the solder so this hole is very close to the chassis and so it's a little i'm struggling little to insert the wire there okay it's came back out okay so let's try again and put it back there uh, okay now let's apply the solder okay so i am applying the solder okay so wait okay i have soldered that okay and this side is done let's do it for another side and uh, sorry for my hand okay so let's do uh, do the same things for the another side i'm connecting the uh, black opposite side of the red okay so here i use that uh, same process applying little flux then soldering wire and soldering it so it's done this side let's uh, check the strength of the soldering wire the same thing i will repeat to the other side of the motor okay uh, let's uh, use the red wire and again I'm doing the soldering thing okay I I have soldered almost let's uh, apply a little more to make it more stronger okay so now i have done the soldering the wires to the motors and let's uh, bring it up okay so i'm using uh, this uh, small holes close by the motors uh, to bring the wires let's uh, give a knot okay uh, so the wires will uh, when it get uh, pulled uh, so it will not break the solder soldering so i gave a knot here then again i inserted the wire inside the, those small holes okay then again i will give a knot uh, so it uh, make the wire stable there okay the same uh, process i will repeat for another side so i'm um, uh, giving a knot here and then i'll be inserting this uh, wires there okay the same things i'll do here i'll give another nut at the top and done we are uh, finally assembled our uh, this uh, two wheeler uh, robot car okay so uh, see you next uh, part and next part we're going to use the uh, electronics uh, i'm using the arduino and a motor driver and next class we'll see how we can control the uh, this robots uh, with the direction uh, forward and backward left and right without uh, any uh, control uh, remotes or uh, bluetooth so after that uh, this part will done uh, uh, second part will done next part will be using how we can control by using any kind of 
controllers maybe the bluetooth or rf controllers or anything okay so get uh, ready to learn more and stay tuned don't forget to like and subscribe see you in next week and this is amit signing off thank you